Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Lasham Daily Briefing, Thursday, 7th of March. So the synoptic situation as we have it at the moment is we've got this uh, high pressure area centered over uh, northern Europe, Scandinavia, and low pressure out to the uh, west of Iceland. And they're sort of having a bit of a battle at the moment. And the high pressure is sort of winning and holding back all these uh, frontal systems that are sat down uh, to our southeast. Uh, midday today, it indicates that uh, we're still in a, a slack southeasterly flow, uh, reasonably light, uh, and the frontal systems down to our east are going to be held back through the day. Uh, just need to keep an eye on this occlusion here. It might just hit us later on today, actually, so the upper cloud ahead of it, uh, but it is deteriorating. We may be OK. Uh, looking through tomorrow, um, Everything's cleared through and we've got a reasonable uh, southeasterly flow, a clear front. So tomorrow should be a reasonable day as well. OK, spot winds today are pretty well indicating about 1, 1, 0, uh, 20, 25 knots. So we're going to be, uh, you know, on the easterly run, I'd suggest. Uh, cloud cover today, uh, if you run through. So this is at uh, quarter to nine. And you can see some upper cloud way out to the west. I don't think it's going to be a fact. And we're just waiting. This What we have here really is pretty well mist uh, that's uh, slowly burning off. Rainfall forecast, uh, no rain at all with us today, which is good. And the actual rain forecast is uh, indicating very similar. There's obviously something overnight down the Salcombe Way, which uh, is uh, deteriorated. Nothing coming in, which is always a good sight. Uh, read, uh, local forecast is actually indicating mist at first, which you have at the moment of clear, clearly. Uh, clearing up around about 10 o'clock, and it should be a reasonable day. Uh, wind steadily uh, 10 knots from the east, east southeast. Temperatures around about 7 or 8, same as yesterday. Uh, excellent visibility and low humidity, so we should be good there. Uh, GFS is indicating max temperature today of 10 and a dew point down at 4. And uh, if you're outside the window, well, this is almost exactly the same as yesterday for those that are around and saw it. Um, hopefully it'll uh, it'll be a better cut off when it actually leaves us today. Uh, but it's a nice, pleasant uh, morning. Uh, local lash and forecast, four degrees at the moment, dew point down at 2.5 and a steady little nine knots uh, anywhere between northeast and east uh, straight down uh, zero nine. Uh, the local area forecast, sorry, the forecast of Odium is seven knots. This is quite interesting, these uh, these forecasts. So Odium's given seven knots uh, with two and a half thousand metres overcast at 300 and mist. And it's not really changing that throughout the day. It may go up to 6,000 metres and scatter cloud at a thousand feet and mist. Uh, so Odium is not that optimistic. Uh, Farnborough actually concurs in that currently they have five knots from the east. Uh, two and a half thousand meters viz overcast at 400 and even later on today they're indicating see between nine and ten o'clock four thousand meters broke clouds at 400 and mist uh, maybe later on visibility nine thousand meters now that doesn't link up at all with top meteor or sky sites so i think we need to wet our finger and stick it up in the air uh, sky sites actually indicating uh blue thermals today uh, if i run this through this is 11 o'clock uh, the queue, I think, is going to stay to the north of us. We're talking about blue thermals here to around about 3,000 feet um, at 12 o'clock. And uh, sky site is sort of quite similar. Uh, this upper mist, I think, uh, this upper cloud is going to disappear. And then we're syndicating queue, um, about 2,500 feet, possible weak thermals there at uh, 1.4 metres, or two and a half knots, something like that. Uh, so there's a bit of a conflict about what uh, Lashman, and uh, Farmer and uh, Odium are saying and what Sky Sight Top Meteor is saying. I'm optimistic, of course, and I'm fairly confident we may not get the thermals, but we should be a good fly all day. And no uh, no NOTAMs uh, to report of. So operationally today, then, uh, we will set up... Uh, we have one movement, uh, a Beach 200 coming around about... 3.30, that may change plus or minus half an hour or so, but the light aircraft, but we will fly, so we should be able to carry on operating fairly normally. Uh, we'll set up on runway 09, uh, light southeasterly all day. Uh, two seaters are as per normal. We're still hoping to get 7.76 out later on today. So we've got three K21s and three K13s. Uh, all of SH6, 2, 3, and 4 also. So currently, at the moment, all discuses are free. So if anyone wants to come and do some discus flying, 
uh, we have availability there. The two-seater list is full today. It's going to be cold, but dress up nicely. And the simulator, of course, is, as usual, always free. So set up today, then we'll be on 09. Uh, it'll be on, the winds will be on the south side, cables down the edge of the runway to the launch point. Uh, any aerotoes will be from the north. Uh, grass uh, north and south are perfectly okay uh, for landing today. So we should be in that uh, good in that respect. Okay, so uh, I'll go and get the stuff out. I'll set up the launch point. If you go and do either gliders, that'll be brilliant. Uh, and I'll see you at the launch point uh, as soon as we can get flying. Thank you. Bye-bye.